right, and welcome back to this video. My name is Mark Hong, and in this video, let's talk about final inspection. We are getting there, okay? So, <clears throat> what is final inspection? Final inspection, um, some might refer to as pre-shipment inspection, and um, this is where all the product has been produced, packed, and uh, you are getting ready to ship this product and you just want to take one last pick and see huh all right let's see if the products are up to standard okay and uh, so for many small businesses they might not do pre-inspection they might not do um, production inspection but um, this is one vital part that you must never ever skip Okay, even if you have skipped all the other previous inspections, okay, and even for budget reasons, right, you can only afford one inspection. This is the one that it cannot be skipped, okay. So do not skip this step, no matter what, okay. And uh, this will save you a lot of time and money, even, you know, if, uh, you know, so if you cannot, by the way, if you cannot afford to have your product, inspect it okay um, this one final inspection then um, you know you, you shouldn't you shouldn't really buy from China or buy at the um, or from any any supplier anywhere okay um, because um, uh, this is what ensures the quality that is at least at least minimum um, acceptable to your customers okay and to yourself okay so performing final inspection okay you can do it in several several ways okay so if you are nearby the manufacturer and you can make the trip and you know what you are doing okay by all means okay do it yourself it will save you a little bit of money maybe not time but um, um, you know it's um, it's it's something that um, will give you more control and you will understand more about your product, right? So, you know, doing it yourself, that's obviously an option, okay? Or uh, send someone that you know, okay? And uh, obviously, okay, you can also hire an experienced and validated uh, agency. And we will talk about that later, how you can pick one, okay? and. Uh, um, you know, always make sure that you use a third-party service, okay? Don't let the supplier help you find one and uh, appoint one for you, okay? Um, because uh, that, you know, it's, it's a conflict of interest, okay? If I'm the supplier and I go hire the inspector and the inspector's job, depending on me hiring them, what do you think is going to happen? right if it's something they say well you know this is probably okay or the suppliers say yeah don't worry about it just let it go right they'll probably let it go right so uh, you know I always have um, you know one time I have uh, I had a client who just said hey you know my supplier told me that the inspector you know you send in is really really tough well no wonder right it ha you know they have to be tough okay because at the end of the day if something goes wrong something happens <clears throat> um, you know the customer will have to take the fall okay and uh, unfortunately you know um, sometimes some shady suppliers will also pay the uh, inspector bribe the inspector you know so they can go easy on them and those are not the kind of inspector or uh, inspection agency that you want to work with okay so be careful and we'll talk about it later how you go about selecting a good uh, third-party uh, inspector okay so <clears throat> just like I said don't let the factory make the arrangements for you all right and uh, you want to obtain inspection report from your your inspector okay and the inspection agency has to be able to give you an English report right so always check say hey you know can the report be in English right do you have uh, you know English speaking or uh, you know writing uh, able inspectors okay and they have to follow the industry standards okay they are industry standard as supposed to you know um, just randomly check 
the product. Okay, so there's actually a very strict industry standard established. Okay, and that gets updated all the time, and the inspector has to be able to obey that standard for every single industry that they work on. So if they are familiar, for example, with the textile industry, then you know uh, don't send them into uh, electronics uh, manufacturer. Okay, um, and um, also you want to make sure if you already got your sample, got it approved. And this is why I mentioned it's so important that you have multiple samples on hand, right? So once you improve, um, have approved them, okay, you have multiple samples on hand, you can send one off to your supplier and one off to your contact windows and make sure that they have something that they can compare to, right? Otherwise, you're going to have to be able to lay out a very, very good inspection uh, check sheet, okay? So... Um, this is probably the easiest way. Just send them a good sample, okay? And um, so, where are the inspection uh, happening? You know, where are the location? Where can they take place? Okay. So usually it's done at the factory, or um, at your freight forwarder's uh, warehouse, or whatever loading promises uh, premises. Okay that happen to have your product. Now, preferably, you want to do it at the factory level before you have paid them the final payment, okay? So that way, they will not say, you know, um, if they don't pass inspection and, uh, you know, they, you know, just forget about it, right? And just say, ah, forget it. I'm not gonna rework, I'm not gonna replace them, okay? So you want to make sure that inspection happens before your last payment. All right, great. So um, that's it for this video, and um, um, we'll see you on the next video where we'll talk about random or full inspection.